It's the America East on ESPN3. The snow is falling. Something called a bomb cyclone, whatever that is, has descended on Lowell, Massachusetts, but nice and warm inside the Costello Athletic Center. Catamounts of Vermont are in town to take on the UMass Lowell Riverhawks, the America East opener for both teams. Hi, everybody. Alongside Jim Boronaka, I'm Chris Villani. And Jim, you got the defending champion Catamounts in town, 19-0 and through conference play a season ago. And for UMass Lowell, for the first time, Time, they'll be eligible for conference tournament play after this America East slate. Yeah, Vermont's really the standard program in this conference and has been for years. Riverhawks, kind of the new kids on the block, looking to replicate that success the Catamounts have enjoyed. Some bad news, though, for the Catamounts heading into conference play. They lose star sophomore Anthony Lamb, the rookie of the year a season ago, leading scorer and rebounder on this team. Among the guys to pick up the slack, though, maybe Trey Bell Haynes, who was the conference player of the year last season. Not a bad guy to have pick up that slack. Bell Haynes is really your prototype typical lead guard at the college level, really controls all aspects of the game, especially on the offensive end. A candidate for player of the year this year? Well, it could be senior guard Jihad Thomas for UMass Lowell, leading the Riverhawks in virtually every statistical category. Mr. Everything for this Riverhawks basketball team. It's his leadership, though, in the locker room and on the court during close games. I think they're going to rely on heavily here as they enter conference play.